Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to take a look at setting up our very own Rust server. So first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you end up on a page that looks like this. So we now need to scroll down and download the zip folder. And once you've downloaded that we need to now create a folder in our C drive or on our C drive and we need to put the .exe in there so you need to open up your zip folder and you'll see steamcmd.exe so we're now going to go to our C drive and we're going to simply right click create new folder and we're going to call it steamcmd and we're just going to open that up now and we are going to drag this .exe into that folder okay so once you've done that you now need to run this .exe so we're just going to double click that now and it's just going to run through a couple of bits now so it's just downloading a few things for our server and extracting so as you can see it's finished doing that now which is fantastic we didn't get any errors as you can see so that's always a good start so now we need to close down steam at cmd so you now need to right click, go to new, and you need to go to text document. So we're just going to press enter and we are going to open that up. So you just need to go to edit and you'll have notepad up. So you now need to copy the text that's in the description below. And you should have some text that looks like that. So basically what this is telling, um, telling us to do or the program that we're about to do is open up steamcmd.exe and it's going to force it to install a Rust server in our C drive so you can actually change the location if you want so I'm actually going to change it from my C drive to my E drive as it has a lot more space than my C drive because I've only got an SSD so you can leave it as your C drive it doesn't matter so we're now going to go to file save as and we're going to click this drop down and go to all files and we are just going to call this it can be called anything you want really um, we can call it start cmd and then this is important you need to put dot bat so this is going to be a bat file so we're now going to run this bat file so it's right there as you can see start cmd.bat so we're just going to double click that now and it's going to start downloading our steam our rust files from steam so just let this run for a minute it it might take a little while depends on how fast your internet connection is so i'm just going to fast forward the video now okay so you now need to right click and go to new and we're going to go to text document and you just need to edit this text document and you now need to copy all the text that's in the description for this part okay so once you've pasted that in you should end up with a line that looks like this so basically what we're telling this to do now is run the server and we can choose a couple of options here so we can choose our server name so computer sluggish and our server identity so computer sluggish will be absolutely fine again so here we can choose how many players we want to be able to join our server and the world size so i'm just going to leave all that at default which is absolutely fine so we're now going to go file save as and we're going to go to all files and we're going to call this start server.bat and we're just going to save that now and we now need to close that file down and run the start server.bat file so as you can see it says start and server and now it's creating our world okay so as you can see it's now started our server up 
just ignore, you won't get this message come up anyway because you've not created a server before. But that was basically telling it to load one of my old save files on a server which I've deleted. So we now need to load up Rust. So I'm just going to go onto Steam now and load it up. Okay, so now Rust is loaded, you need to go to the top and go play game and you need to press F1 to bring up the console. And you now need to type in connect 127.0.0.1 and then two dots and then 28015. So that's our port number. Okay, so that's to connect to our server locally. So we're just going to press enter now. And as you can see, it's saying loading. Which is a great start. <laughs> okay, so there you go. We are now in our own server and we can do whatever we want. So, if this tutorial helped, hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.